This is a uh, third video uh, that I've shot take, uh, discussing the Intex um, CS8110 uh, saltwater generator. Um, some of my other two films, one of them I discussed having the problem with the Code 91 with my old unit. And then I had a second where I just checked to see, uh, just out of curiosity, what kind of readings I got on the resistance for uh, the electrolytic cell detecting salt water in my old unit. Um, I did this with just more informational purposes if anyone really cared. Um, comparing between the uh, old model that I have, which I think I got in 2012, and then this model, which is uh, brand new, got it in about two, three days ago. Uh, there's, some, there's some differences. Uh, mostly, of course, all the front, uh, besides the fact, of course, they're new. They've changed the plastic. It's cosmetic things. Uh, big differences, though, from the design standpoint on the, the back between the cell. Um, that is, of course, uh, one of the uh, major changes I've noticed is this uh, the flow tube for the flow sensor is uh, now uh, one one piece and the entire cell is now one housing where before there were two sections uh, and this you could disconnect um, apart from that the flow sensor itself looks very it looks no different uh, there may be a little bit of change or two but nothing that probably makes that much of an uh, impact of course one of the other big differences is two connections on the end are uh, opposite sides on the old model new model uh, there's one, but then at a right angle going out, the other one on the newer model is here. They also have this nice big rubber gasket, which is a, a slight difference. Um, they've also moved the cell from the back near the end, uh, more towards the front, which is interesting. Um, and then probably the biggest change I've noticed is, is around the titanium electrode, which detects the salt water and usually results in people's... Uh, devices getting the um, <clears throat> code 91 for low salt so there's some significant uh, changes here uh, they still have the three plates but instead of being mounted uh, vertically they're now mounted horizontally um, the plug is very different now as opposed to being before which friction fit this actually is a, a, you can actually unscrew this and you have to actually disconnect the plug and the plug itself is of course very different now I mean, it still has two prongs, but now they have this uh, piece to help align it, and uh, it seems to be a lot better sealed. So I'm guessing that, or hoping, perhaps, is a better word, that this will be uh, better than the old plug, which has, uh, at least in mine, got a little rust because it wasn't perfectly sealed off. Uh, this seems to be better from that aspect. Another big change is um, you can now actually change out the titanium plates um, you can pull this out and in fact they actually have this as a part now that you can actually sell um, or buy on their site they sell it on their site and I also notice they have this uh, plastic housing as well uh, which is uh, different and then one of the other changes is this all and the old one this was all one piece in fact this entire Thing was one piece and you couldn't actually do this uh, but I also noticed that now the connection here is sealed off completely to prevent any water because like I have rust uh, in my older unit and I can't see now how this would get rusted at all which is a, a nice uh, improvement for what it appears to be assuming it all works I'll find out soon enough when I uh, hook it up and perhaps in a year or two we'll see what happens um, Put that on wrong. And let's see. Um, that is really some of the biggest differences from what I can tell. I'm not really going to open the unit up to see what's inside it. Um, that's not why I'm uh, shooting this film. I will do one more thing after this. As soon as I can screw this back on correctly. And I'll show you what the difference is between a two-year-old copper electrode and one that is brand new. So the electrode itself is, well, there seems to be no difference between these two. This is one that is new. Uh, 
as you can tell, it's very, very thick uh, between the two plates. I'll get around here and I'll take this one open. Let's see yet. And as you can tell, I don't prepare. I'd have to get them a little closer, but uh, the difference is uh, significant in terms of thickness and the distance between them. So this one's been used a bunch. This one is not. And that's it. Thanks.